Want to go somewhere far away and not be found? You don't have to run into the forest and go full Henry David Thoreau. Head to these places instead if you want an isolated life. Beware though, secluded places aren't always easy to get to. 23. The Peak District England is already part of an island, which can be some of the most isolating places. Fortunately for Great Britain, it's a pretty big island. However, that doesn't mean there isn't places significantly secluded from the rest of the towns and big cities. That brings us to the Peak District, near the southern portion of the Pennines in England. For a nice and quiet vacation, stay at a cottage in the Peak District, where you'll find rolling hills and empty stone pathways. 22. The Island of Tristan da Cunha Portuguese explorer Tristan da Cunha sighted the island in 1506, the first sighting of it ever recorded, although the first permanent settler didn't arrive until the 1800s. This volcanic island sits in the South Atlantic, with less than 300 residents living here. The dialects spoken here came from a mix of languages from Italy, the Netherlands, America, South Africa, Scotland, and England. 21. Easter Island Across the world in the Pacific Ocean, relatively far from the coast of South America, is Easter Island, famous for the monumental statues known as the Moai. Easter Island was named such after the first European visitor arrived there on Easter Sunday back in 1722. It is considered one of the most remote islands on the planet, with the closest resident being Pitcairn Island and is over 2,000 miles away. 20. Long Yerbjörn in Norwegian, it translates to mean the long year town. This settlement in the center of Svalbard is the largest in its area, yet is one of the most remote places you could probably ever visit. Long Yerbjörn was named such in 1926. Compared to everywhere else, Long Yerbjörn is the northernmost settlement in the world, with a population of just over 2,100 people. Interestingly, you cannot legally bury a body here because the temperature will prevent it from decomposing. 19. Cape York Peninsula Perhaps the next closest thing to an island is a peninsula, stretching far beyond the mainland but not quite divided. You have a place like Cape York in Australia that's a prime example of how you can still be part of a huge place like Australia, yet really alone. Okay, that sounded really depressing. Let's bring it back up. Cape York Peninsula stands as the largest unspoiled wilderness in northern Australia, so that's something to celebrate. 18. Pitcairn Island in the midst of the four volcanic islands in the southern Pacific Ocean known as the Pitcairn Islands is Pitcairn. Of the groups of islands under the same name, humans inhabit only Pitcairn, with a total close to 50 residents. Pitcairn Island, a British overseas territory, can be found 3,300 miles away from New Zealand. A local scandal in 2004 put a dent in any visitors or new residents that would have flocked to the island. 17. Barrow, Alaska Found in the Arctic Circle, we're talking about the largest city in the state of Alaska, Barrow. Despite being so comparatively large, Barrow is also quite far from everything else. In the United States, Point Barrow counts as the northernmost point. If you wanted to take a road trip here, newsflash, you can't. No roads lead to this city, and the only way to get here is by plane. There's also supposedly more caribou than humans here. 16. Kerguelen Islands more islands. What makes the Kerguelen Islands different from the other ones we've spoken about thus far on this list? Well, they're nicknamed the Desolation Islands for starters. Among one of the most isolated places in the world, Kerguelen Islands can be found 2,100 miles or 3,300 kilometers away from Madagascar, though the closest island is Heard Island, about 280 miles or 450 kilometers away. 15. Palmerston Island The coral atoll known as Palmerston can be found in the Cook Islands along the Pacific. On this small atoll, you'll find coconut palms and pandanus trees. The island itself was discovered in 1774 by James Cook, the British explorer. There's not many people that visit here or even live here. As a result, there's only two phones and some internet access for a few hours a day. The only ones that come here do so via supply ships several times during the year. 14. Socotra Archipelago Although it currently stands as belonging to Yemen, Somalia and Yemen have both clashed about who it really belongs to. If you stepped on these strange islands, you'll probably fight over it too, as the islands of the Socotra Archipelago prove to be like nowhere else. What with their dragon blood trees that bleed red sap, found on the largest of the islands, Socotra. There's also about 800 rare species of other plants, found exclusively on this island. 13. Via Las Estrellas The name might confuse you when you tell you that Via Las Estrellas can be found in Antarctica. To explain, this research station can be found in the Antarctica Chilena province of Antarctica and belongs to Chile. The community here even has a school that goes from 1st grade to 8th grade, with about 14 houses only measuring up to 970 feet or 90 meters squared each. 12. Kessiersuk as of 2010, there was a recorded 89 people living in the Kuliak municipality of Kassiersuk. This settlement can be found in southern Greenland, considered part of the state of Denmark. 
Kisterzook was founded as the first sheep farm in 1924. There's lots of mainly gravel or dirt roads, with most of the transportation to this place utilized by boats on the sea. Most of the economy here depends on farming and sheep husbandry, while the rest of the settlements in Greenland usually focus on fishing. 11. Cooper Petty Back to Australia. Right in the southern portion, just north of Adelaide, is the unique town of Cooper Petty. It's known as the opal capital city of the world and is what drives the economy of this small town with a population of 3,500 residents. Apparently, half of that population live underground. On the surface, the summers see a temperature of 113 degrees. As a result, and the history with all the mining, it makes sense for residents to build into the stone and under the surface to make their own dugouts to dwell in. 10. Ben Bulbin Along the Dartry Mountains in Ireland is the large rock formation known as Ben Bulbin. The name translates to mean jaw or beak peak. It formed sometime during the Ice Age in a region that would be later referred to as Yates Country. The formation itself consisted of limestone stacked over mudstones, with one of the layers consisting of some corals and fossilized seashells throughout. One of the biggest drawing points near is Classybon Castle, a 10,000-acre estate built in the 19th century. 9. Supai, Arizona Home to amazing Havasu Falls and Havasupai Tribes Reservation, Supai is one of the most remote villages in the United States, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. You'll find this secluded center in the southwestern portion of the Grand Canyon, with tourists as well as residents seen here. People can only access this area via pack animal, helicopter, or by foot, and counts as the only place left in the United States where mail is carried by mules. 8. Itakurtamurit Founded in 1925, the settlement known as Itakurtamurit is also a place that could be difficult to get to. On top of being located in Greenland, a place where not a lot of people reside or visit, it also is considered one of the most remote towns in the country. The name literally means big house dwellers when you translate it from Eastern Greenlandic dialect. Formerly known as Scoresbysund, named after Arctic explorer William Scoresby, the town is famous for the wildlife here such as the seals, whales, and polar bears. 7. The Deer Stones of Mongolia While people may visit the bigger cities of Mongolia, one of the most famous monuments found there are quite far out, in the middle of nowhere, so to speak. They're the Deer Stones, also referred to as Reindeer Stones, with some found in Siberia as well. These ancient megaliths were carved into, depicting illustrations of flying deer. Made from granite, most of these stones measure to over 3 feet tall, with the tallest reaching 15 feet. 6. Bora Bora in the Tahitian dialect, the name for Bora Bora comes from the phrase created by the gods. Anybody who has ever stepped foot onto these islands can probably attest to that nomenclature, though the abbreviation from this phrase also means firstborn. People visit from all over the world to experience the luxury resorts located in Bora Bora, a place where the water is aquamarine and the beaches are sandy white. Though you are far from other places in the world, you'll find lots of people here touring and relaxing. 5. Chang Tang up in the high altitude of the Tibetan Plateau, not far from Ladakh, India, sits the Changtang, home to nomadic Tibetan people. This land spans for about 990 miles or 1,600 kilometers and was once upon a time ruled by the culture known as the Zhangzong. The peoples from here are considered northerners, with this area known as the Roof of the World. To visit, a permit is required of you, for which you would need to shell out a few thousand dollars. 4. Suwa Oasis In the middle of the deserts of Egypt, between the Qatara Depression and the Great Sand Sea, is an urban oasis known as Siwa. One of the most isolated settlements in Egypt, there's still about 33,000 people that call Siwa home. The ancient structures here are a big tourist attraction, which is historically part of Libya. Records show the first settlement in the Siwa area goes as far back as the 10th millennium BC. 3. La Riconada if you go up to the Peruvian Andes, you'll not only find lots of snow, but also the highest permanent settlement in the world, La Riconada. It sits at 5,100 meters above sea level, with the population increasing to about 30,000 people because the price of gold had rose up by 235%. And if you didn't know, La Riconada has a little gold prospector camp. The average temperature here reached about 10 degrees Celsius in this tundra climate. 2. Meteora more climbing for this next one, we're talking about the monastery high in the sky, the famous Grecian Meteora. The rock formation stands at heights that reach up to 1,800 feet or 550 meters above the plain below. One of the most famous establishments here is the Monastery of the Holy Trinity, an Eastern Orthodox institution that sits on a precipice of over 1,300 feet or 400 meters high, completed in the year 1476. 1. Etludai 
In the most northeastern part of the Westman Islands is Etladai, with an archipelago made up of about 15 to 18 other small islands. These land formations near Iceland include the most secluded town in the world, with the island of Etladai only measuring to about 110 acres, making it the third largest here. Etladai was once said to have been gifted to singer Bjork by the Icelandic government, a claim that turned out to be false. The only building here is a lodge made by the island's hunting association, though no permanent residents live here. Where would you spend your money in order to get away from it all? Talk about it in the comments! Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Psst! Hey, here's a pop quiz question before you go. Which of these locations is where the language of Isawan spoken? Find out in the next video.